Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Melina's looking good. Now, the thing I liked about Melina, now I know, I know drag queens, people love drag queens, and they're so popular, everybody wants these drag queens. Whether they want to, you know, enjoy their latest look or think it's very exaggerated and want to copy it, but to do a more natural kind of look, or maybe they want to copy the exaggerated look, or maybe they want to... Um, get glam tips and they're a beautiful girl or whatever. Maybe it's a guy and he's very macho, but he likes the look of drag queens or he thinks drag queens are sexy. Who knows? But um, I, I'm not sure what the reason people watch drag queens, but the thing that I like about me is that I'm such a gorgeous guy as Marco that maybe people that don't usually watch drag queens are going to watch me because they think, hey, you know, this is like really good because... I'm like a man's man as Marco, right? Like a real, real man. I'm like a gorgeous jock type and I'm really handsome and I'm really gorgeous. So people that like gorgeous guys may may not usually like drag queens because a lot of drag queens are not gorgeous. Of course, there are some drag queens as guys that are gorgeous, but a lot of drag queens, I would say, are not typically good-looking men. There are obviously there are probably some that are out there that would be, but um, there's probably more than one, obviously, because it's a big, it's a big world out there, but... Uh, but most drag queens are not gorgeous men as men. So when people watch me, they might not normally watch a drag queen. Now, I don't consider myself a drag queen. That might be another reason why they watch. But they don't might, might not usually watch a drag queen. But they see me and they think, hey, you know, this is really cool, you know. I, I never really gave drag queens a chance. Or I don't consider myself a drag queen, but I ask that kind of, sort of. Uh, so they might consider um, me to be so good because I'm so good looking as a guy. And they typically wouldn't watch it. So it's kind of like nice to open the door to that kind of thing. And maybe there's a really good looking guy that doesn't feel into being a drag queen or anything like that. Doesn't want to be doing it for his personal life. But maybe he's really good at it. And he wants to chain it as a drag queen. So he starts performing and he's like, Marco and Melina are the bomb. And I want to perform like that and yada, yada, yada. So maybe that's true too, right? But the thing is, I'm so good looking as a guy, like I'm really good looking. I look like better than bodybuilders, right? So, well, obviously there's a lot of good looking bodybuilders, but I look better than, like even the, I look like the same as the best bodybuilders, the top bodybuilders. So, of course you're going to think, well, you know, if you are liking drag queens, you might think, hey, this is a really good drag queen. I don't consider myself a drag queen, like I said a million times, but I don't consider myself a drag queen, but maybe you're like, Hey, you know, this is really something. I never really knew that somebody this good looking as a guy would co even consider doing that. And so it opens doors, right? And it breaks boundaries. I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, I've never been the, the type to want to be an advocate for anything, really. I never really wanted to be an advocate for anything. I never really wanted to sort of, like, be like, oh, I'm an advocate or I'm, I have to make people feel more aware of this and that. But if you are doing what you love and you happen to be an advocate by doing what you love, it does open doors and make people feel better about themselves. Like maybe there's somebody out there that really wants to dress up as a girl or maybe they want a sex change. And I've opened doors to them because they're like, there's a good looking guy. He doesn't judge. He's so nice. He doesn't judge and he would do it if he dressed up as a drag queen. So, uh, and, um, and maybe, and then you might think maybe I can do this and maybe I can have this as my lifestyle. Now, I don't do this for my lifestyle, but I do recommend that if you see me, don't feel bad that I don't do this as my lifestyle. If I wanted to do this as my lifestyle, I totally would. I just don't feel connected to being a drag queen. I don't want to be a drag queen for my personal life. But if you want to be a drag queen and you want to do this for your personal life, please do so. You might make people feel better that you're doing that too, right? So don't don't worry that I don't want this to be my lifestyle, that this is not me person but it's just how I entertain don't take that as a negative because that's only because I don't want to be a drag queen in my personal life if I wanted to be a drag queen in my personal life then I would be and I would have no qualms about it so use that instead and say hey you know this person that Marco Molina really would be a drag queen if they wanted to but they just don't want to so that's why they're not otherwise I would be right like if I wanted to be a drag queen I would be a drag queen in my personal life, I just choose not because that's not what I want to be. And that's not who I am. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye now. It's just for entertainment purposes, darling.